Okay, right to the point. What is hydroxychloroquine and how does it relate to coronavirus? Hydroxychloroquine is primarily used to treat malaria and in addition has a second property where it behaves as an ionophore. An ionophore is a protein or molecule that transports ions across the cell membrane. How do we know this about hydroxychloroquine? A 2014 paper conclusively showed that hydroxychloroquine shuttled zinc ions into cancer cells causing them to undergo apoptosis. In the experiment, two conditions were set up where cells were exposed to zinc with and without hydroxychloroquine. The condition with zinc but no hydroxychloroquine showed minuscule concentrations of zinc in the cells. The other condition where hydroxychloroquine and zinc were both present showed a significant increase in the cells. This proved that hydroxychloroquine acted as an ionophore for zinc. This is a scenario where a medication designed for one use also has an unexpected secondary use. For example, aspirin had an unexpected use for mitigating heart attacks. In 1899, aspirin was initially used as a mild pain reliever. It wasn't until 1950 that it was discovered to reduce clotting in the blood. This was advantageous to use during heart attacks to increase the chances of survival by preventing blood clots. With hydroxychloroquine, it's believed the zinc ion inhibits an enzyme specific to the coronavirus's replication. When coronavirus infects a cell, its RNA genome is released into the cell cytoplasm. The host cell ribosome then translates a specific RNA strand into the enzyme RDRP. From here, the RDRP enzyme copies the other coronavirus strands. The host cell again then translates these RNA strands into more viral proteins. These viral proteins are assembled into new viruses and then infect other cells in the body. It's believed the RDRP enzyme can be inhibited by a zinc ion, therefore halting this entire life cycle. How do we know all this is true? Well, we don't know 100% for sure. However, a paper from 2010 tested a different ionophore called pyrithrione. Incredibly, they tested this on the SARS-CoV virus that was widespread in 2003. Researchers found that as the zinc ion concentration increased in the cell, there was less viral RNA copies being made. Scientists theorized that zinc was inhibiting RDRP as it's the enzyme responsible for making copies of viral RNA. There is one caveat though. This concept was tested on the SARS-CoV virus from 2003 and not the current SARS-CoV-2 that we're dealing with right now. The viruses are similar as they're from the same family, but they are not identical. When it comes to medical science, clinical studies with reproducible results are king. As of now, clinical trials are being conducted at unseen rates to test this and other theories to stop the virus. At this point, only time will tell.